Welcome to Cloud Pages. Use a lifecycle management for Google Apps. In this short video, we're going to show you how you can brand and customize your Cloud Pages experience. First, we're going to look at customizing Cloud Pages to match our corporate branding. We do this through the global settings option and then selecting customization. First, we're going to upload our company logo. Once the company logo has been uploaded, we can start to work on our colour scheme. Using the colour picker, we can update the menu bar main colour, the hover over colour, our highlighter colour, as well as the colour of the icons. If we know the HTML code for the colour, we can enter it, just like this. Once we're happy with the colours, simply update and refresh Cloud Pages to see our colour scheme applied. And here we are, Cloud Pages with our corporate logo and colour scheme applied. Next, let's modify the user's experience of Cloud Pages. First, we're going to change the default landing page. We can go from the profile to browse or search. As our users predominantly use Cloud Pages for search, we're going to select the search option as the default landing page. By selecting the embedded option, Cloud Pages can be included within your corporate intranet via an iframe. You can also remove the footer or even hide the organizational browse. Cloud Pages also allows you to customize which items to search for. Search for users' profiles, external contacts and even organizational units which is useful if your organizational units are hotels, stores or other locations within your Google directory. And finally we can customize how our search results will be displayed. We can have the standard business card view or choose from three compact views with one, two or three lines to make maximum use of your screen. I prefer the business card view. Click update for our settings to be applied. Now that our branding changes have been made, we can go and add some further content to Cloud Pages in order to make it more useful for our users. Let's start by adding some company information to Cloud Pages. First, we're going to upload an image. This could be a picture of your organization, team, or in this case, an extract from our website. Once the image has been uploaded, we can start to add further information to our Cloud Pages. From the menu, select Edit Organization. From here we can add company information such as the display name, description, email address, location, telephone numbers, web links and any other information which may be useful for our users. Here's a few examples of the type of information that you can store within your organizational unit inside Cloud Pages. And here is how Cloud Pages could look for your users. With a logo, address details, with a map which we can click onto for further details, as well as telephone numbers and a website link. Once you've added your company information to Cloud Pages, you can change the order in which they'll be displayed on that profile page. Cloud Pages also allows you to add company information such as job title,
company and departments so that when your users are being given the choice to pick a department they can pick from your predefined list. Now that we've finished configuring our cloud pages let's take a look at the user experience. Here is the landing page that we configured so that our users can search our directory. We can also browse the Cloud Technology Solutions organization where we can find our address, telephone number and web links, providing you with a fully customized and rebranded solution, all with the power of Cloud Pages.